this GCSE question was poorly answered and hardly anyone could score any marks on it. Imagine that we have an object that is sitting at the bottom of the sea. Explain how forces lead to this object being stationary. To explain this, all we need to do is to consider all the forces that act on it. As always, we're going to have the weight which is acting downwards. We're also going to have two forces that act upwards. One of them is going to be the normal reaction or the reaction force. This is the same force that is currently keeping you on your seat and not hurtling towards the center of the earth. Thank you, normal reaction force. Because this is submerged underwater, as you can see by this fish across here, we're also going to have an upthrust, which is gonna be acting also upwards. The reaction force plus the upthrust will equal the weight. Even though this was no part of the question, let's take this a step further. Imagine that you have a fish that is just relaxing and it's stationary. What forces are acting on it? Well, if the fish is stationary, we're going to have the weight which will be acting downwards and we're going to have the upthrust which will be acting upwards. Those two will be the same for any object that floats. If you have an object which is rising towards the surface, then the upthrust will be bigger than the weight. If you have another object which is sinking, then the weight will be bigger than the upthrust. Common mistakes is an incredibly powerful way to learn physics. It's precisely why you should have a look at this video right over here to ensure that you get maximum grades on the exam.